what I can say is that, I mean, having been in the COP process and other international engagements, I think that generally for young people, we are treated as just the observers that we are. So young people have, you know, draft position papers that um, they, so for example, at the SBs, um, as part of the technical uh, engagements at the SBs, um, young had the opportunity to draft their, their, their position on where uh, they want, you know, us to, to, to go to in our next phase of our NDCs and in the global stock tick process, what we should put as priority. But I think that being an observer doesn't really give you the power to really, you know, equal footing of power to, 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 to make uh, positions that are really considered. And even when you come, when you look at the observer constituency, you see how young, so young go as a youth observer is given often in these negotiating meetings, given one rep and other constituency are given five reps, six reps, you know, you know, considerable number of representative to be on the table of discussion. So I think that, I mean, um, I understand, again, I understand the complexity, but I think that if we truly understand how uh, young people can shape the discourse, because we feel that the, the pressing need to address the climate injustices that are happening, we would consider and, 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 and uh, change how, um, the framework of how youth representation in these policy discussions are. The ways in which we can work is to ensure that young people are not just youth representatives on the table of discussion. And, you know, I mean, what just comes to mind is how, how do party governments, for example, ensure that they don't just tokenize youth um, to represent them in these meetings, but they truly understand representation um, and, and, and the need for young people to be in the party that delegation, not just to tick the box of young people being as part of the delegation, but young people having an equal measure of power and representation in these meetings. So I think with the observer uh, representation would be quite difficult, but we, the way in which we can go forward is making sure that country governments who are in these meetings ensure that there are enough young people in the meeting, young people are treated with respect and they are given the same level of representation as other uh, older you know, uh, negotiators.